welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming another tag video. This one is so cool because I've always wanted to know this about other creators. And so I'm so glad that Annette put this together. If you guys don't know who Annette is, she is an amazing YouTuber from Vegas. She's originally from Norway. I'm pretty sure I got that right. She's originally from Norway. She lives in Las Vegas. Hopefully I'm going to meet her this January. I'm so excited because I'll be in Vegas for work. So we do have plans on meeting up and her name, like I said, is Annette and her and her friend Prue got together and created the tag behind the scenes of YouTube. I am so pumped. So let's get into it. The first question, what was the hardest part about starting a channel? For me, I think the hardest part, I don't think there was a hard part. Uh, I started my channel, when was it? I keep forgetting my YouTube anniversary. I think it was 2011 when I started my channel and it wasn't like a, I didn't start it thinking like I'm going to start a beauty channel. It was just like, let me just make fun videos for my blog and I used to film on like my webcam. So it wasn't actually hard for me to start my channel because it was never anything serious. But since kind of diving into the beauty YouTube realm, I think the hardest part for me is technology and keeping up with my friends, my subscribers, other creators. Like there's like, it seems like people are constantly on their phones and I am too, but I swear it's like, I'm, I feel like I'm always behind. So anyway, um, that is the hardest part for me. Number two, what equipment do you use? So I have a Canon EOS T5i. I'm actually reading it off my camera right now. All my equipment is listed down in my description box. I just wanted to put it there because when I first started, I didn't know anything about anything. My husband did all the research on my stuff. So he kind of helped me set up, learn to use my camera, etc, etc. So I have my lights and my camera and my tripod linked in my description box. I think we bought everything on Amazon. I just got a Rode mic for my birthday. It's not here yet. We'll see how it goes. I'm not making any promises. That was uh, kind of expensive too. Rode mics are like $99, which is a lot of investment. I don't personally mind the sound on my channel, but Rail Harris is very particular about how I make my YouTube videos. So <laughs> let's see how it goes. He's going to teach me how to use it, I think. Number three, what editing program do you use? What did you start with? So <laughs> I, I use iMovie just because that's like idiot proof for me. I have Final Cut and again, my husband, he always encourages me to do better and he wants me to learn to use Final Cut. So maybe that'll be like one of those things I do in 2019. We've had Final Cut Pro forever and I'm just like in denial about wanting to use it. So I've been like putting it off. I feel like iMovie does everything I needed to. <laughs> I mean, I very recently figured out how to use Fit on iMovie, but I think it would be cool to do some of those other cool things that people do in edits and like I would love to be able to split the screen and show you like multiple things like if I were to do like outfit posts and things like that but we'll see we'll see so iMovie it is. Yeah. Number four, did you have any experience with making videos before starting YouTube? No not at all I started YouTube like I said in 2011 so that was back in the stone age of YouTube where people were I think just filming on their phones and using like table lamps as lighting so yeah. <laughs> Everything I've kind of learned on the go. Number five, on average, how long does it take you to edit? It depends on the video. Most of mine are pretty quick to edit. I think Will I Bite videos do take the longest because I try to add photos and, you know, you have to like take a, like screenshot the photo and then add it to the video and all that stuff. And some of my Will I Bite videos are like 40 minutes long. So that is quite a bit of editing. I also really hate watching my videos over and over again which is probably why there's a lot of weird errors in my videos. But honestly, like I know people say you have to be a little bit of a narcissist to be on YouTube, which is kind of true for me. It's just like, I hate, sometimes I'm like, God, my videos are so boring. Cause like I've already, you know, lived the video and I have to watch it a hundred times over. So did I answer the question? I don't even know. <laughs> okay. Number six, what was the worst technical accident you've had 
since starting your channel. I have been pretty lucky. I think maybe like a couple of times I was out of, out of focus. Right now I'm having trouble with like how bright my videos are. <laughs> <laughs> because when I filmed that Will I Bite video in my living room, we turned up the exposure and I never actually bugged my husband to turn it down. So now I just film with less lighting in here because otherwise my videos are like super overexposed. <laughs> but it's not a huge deal. I haven't had any SD card drama. My camera still works well. So, so far so good. Number seven, do you ever film something and not upload it? I've had a few videos that I haven't uploaded. Usually though, not a ton. Yeah, I, I think I have maybe two or three videos that I've never uploaded, but nothing too crazy. Number eight, do you write a script or plan what you are going to talk about? Sometimes I do. I never write, I've never written a script. You guys, I am way too lazy to do something that planned. <laughs> I, I couldn't do it. Um, but sometimes when I do reviews and stuff, I do try to make notes just so I can cover everything. Number nine, have you started talking differently since starting your YouTube channel? I don't think so. <laughs> I sometimes watch youtubers like hannah who is super eloquent when she speaks i feel like she just always uses the right vocabulary and things like that so i love the way she talks and i think some people are so concise when they talk about makeup on youtube i wish that was me but i just kind of talk how i talk and usually it works out okay though so <laughs> can't complain number 10 what's the one thing that annoys you when editing yourself like I said in that previous question, it's just like having to pay attention. Sometimes I totally lose track of what I'm saying when I'm editing stuff and I'm just like, oh God, I gotta watch it over. For me, the hardest part is having to watch myself over and over again. And of course, like when you're like me, I'm always like, uh, 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 uh. But I've learned to edit those out, but it is painstaking to do that. <laughs> Okay, number 11. What is your biggest editing pet peeve in others' videos? I can't think of anything. Other people's videos? I feel like I know how hard editing is, so, you know, you do the best you can is what I think. But uh, if I think of anything, I will let you guys know. But I can't think of anything as far as editing pet peeves of other people. Number 12. Do you ever feel self-conscious in your videos? I don't think self-conscious. I feel like I could definitely do better sometimes because sometimes I'm just like exhausted like I am right now. I'm so freaking sleepy and I probably shouldn't be filming but I want to power through it because I have some time off from work because of the holidays and so I'm trying to film so I have extra videos for you guys, but never really self-conscious. Like right now, I totally got makeup on my sweater and I'm mad about it, but I'm not self-conscious. Like I kind of try to be my most authentic self on my YouTube channel. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. And that's okay, because there's so many channels for you to watch. Number 13, what keeps you inspired to keep creating? I think that's a great question to end this video. I think my number one inspiration to keep creating are my subscribers. Honestly, I don't even like to say the word subscribers because I feel like I'm too small of a channel to have subscribers. I consider everyone that watches my channel my friend. I love interacting with my friends. In my comment section, I will always, always, always try to get back to you guys. Usually I answer comments when I have a spare minute and I'll just go through and answer comments and at least say a hi or a thank you to everyone that does. And it just brings me so much joy when people comment on my YouTube videos just for people to take time out of their day. I consume so much YouTube and there's so many videos I watch that I don't comment on just cause like sometimes I don't have anything to say or sometimes it's just like, oh, they have a million comments. Like, what does it matter what I say? So the fact that other people take the time to do it on my channel really makes me feel so, so inspired. And when I hear people that are my skin tone talk about how helpful a video was because they got to see what a particular palette or a foundation or whatever it looks like on me and that helped them, you know, decide whether they were going to buy something or not. That makes me feel so, so good and so appreciated. So yeah, the reason I continue to create is you guys and also some creators. I think there's so many friendly YouTubers out there and it's just such a fun community. So yeah, that is my answer to that question. 
And that is it for this tag video. I want to take the time to thank Annette so, so much for creating this wonderful video as well as Prue. I'll have to check out her channel as well. Thank you guys for spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I will catch you guys in my next video soon and I just want to let you guys know, check the comment section. I'm going to go ahead and put a little hidden secret giveaway in this video for you guys. So thank you so much for watching guys. Bye!